what a beautiful morning in East Tennessee. I hope you are enjoying this and I hope you're heading to the lake or heading to the big box store so you can get your weekend honeydew list done. And hopefully I'll give you a couple ideas on what else you could do because I am working on my own honeydew list this weekend. Um, my mom has a lake house on Norris and if you've been listening to me for even a minute, you should know that I hate brass doorknobs. Like I just hate them. Hi, 1997. I mean, I just, I can't stand it. So, and it's real easy to change the doorknobs. It's real easy to change, oh my gosh, the switch plates. All the switch plates at the house are brass. Those nice molded ones. No, not the molded ones, please, no. So anyway, that's what I'm doing this weekend. Last weekend, I cleaned out like everything in the kitchen when we threw out like five trash bags and then you couldn't tell I did anything. I cleaned out the entire kitchen and you still couldn't tell I did anything. So, I don't have any. <laughs> this is a problem. There's just a bunch of adults in the lake house every weekend and we just kind of come and throw everything down and then leave and we don't ever keep up with it. So, last weekend I went through and cleaned everything just in the kitchen, five trash bags. So, this weekend, I'm so excited. I've already been to the big box store. I've already got all my stuff. I went on Monday night so that I was ready for this weekend. So I am doing my own little weekend project and changing out all of the plate covers and all of the doorknobs in the house. I've already changed the kitchen knobs. I've already changed the kitchen knobs. Yes. Um, the brush nickel, the like off silver kind of stuff, just kind of plain. The dark, like copper brush stuff, yeah, you could do that. That that's fine. Just please, not brass. And I know that people like brass because it's a, uh, is it antifungal? It's supposed to be cleaner. Okay, that's why a lot of public places have brass is because it's supposed to be cleaner for a lot of traffic. But I I can't stand it in the house. And if you're gonna put your house on the market, I've said this before. If you're gonna put your house on the market, do some little weekend tidbits to update the house. You don't have to paint the whole thing. You don't have to gut the kitchen. You can just take care of the little pretty things that'll just make it look more 2016 instead of 1997. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited on Tuesday. I didn't think I had anything really going on. Well, I had a, uh, I had a product launch. So I've got women that have signed up for my 90 day program to become a real estate investor. And that was awesome. That was on Monday. And I've got a book coming out in September. A book. I, I wrote a book and it's coming out in September. And I actually collaborated with a lot of other really smart professional ladies in Atlanta. I'm the only real estate person in the book though. And so we're having this huge party in Atlanta, book launch party with all of the authors, all of the everybody that was involved and it, we've actually turned it into like a weekend girls retreat so for like <laughs> no 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 no. so we've got this it's I think it's one night in September and we're all spending the night we've got this great location it's like a uh, it's like glamping you know it's like a glamour camping kind of thing so it's all these professional ladies we're coming together and there's I think five or six of us that are speaking so I'm one of the speakers I'm the only real estate speaker that's gonna be at this event and the reason we're having this is also in combination with our book launch party so we're doing that in September and that's gonna be in Atlanta and I've got a whole radio and TV tour set up for Atlanta while I'm there. I'm going on tour. It's so much fun, I love it. I'm gonna get my hair all done and everything like I did in June. <laughs> Not just up in a ponytail. And then I have, oh, let's see, in October, I'm going to Ohio to do, again, a book launch tour and radio tour in Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. I hope not. I hope not. My stuff's a lot more fun than what they're barking about. And then in November, I, I'm i doing a retreat. A, a, like, like the one I'm going to in September, but the one in November is women making money in real estate. So if you are a woman, sorry fellas, but if you are a woman making money in real estate as a landlord, as an agent, as a mortgage broker, as an architect, as a city codes inspector, whatever it is that you're doing in real estate, as long as you're making some money, I'm gonna have, and I'm, I'm limiting it to like 15 or 20 
ladies. Like, I don't want this to be a huge thing. I want this to be really intimate. And we're going to go to Asheville, North Carolina. We're going to Biltmore. We are going to Biltmore. So on Saturday, our whole itinerary is just Biltmore. We're going to do a behind the scenes tour. But on Friday, where our kickoff is on Friday. And on Friday, we've got, again, you know, I think there's six or seven of us that are going to do like an hour, 45 minute presentation on different chunks of real estate. So like Julie's in the studio with me every other week it feels like I, I love having Julie with me and so she's gonna be there and she's gonna talk about property management and why real smart investors will have a property manager so she's gonna do a topic on that I'll do an hour probably on owner financing lease options and why you should be doing creative financing and then you know April Crosley is from Pennsylvania and she's gonna come in she really focuses on if you have money in a 401k or a self-directed IRA how you can put that money into real estate and get some I mean just mind-blowing returns off of it so she'll talk about that so we've got different ladies that are coming from different parts of the country and they've all got specific things that they're gonna talk about so that's going to be on Friday, and then I think Friday night we'll do like a fancy dinner kind of somewhere on the grounds at Biltmore, and then Saturday just at Biltmore. And, you know, just have fun, and we'll do a wine tour, and it's, it's a really intimate time just for ladies, women in real estate, making money. So that's going to be in November. And again, while I'm in Asheville, we're going to the radio stations, we're going to the TV stations, they're going to be all over the paper. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> I'm going on tour. <laughs> it's so much fun. I, I also talked to a lady this morning about going to speak to the sorority houses, especially here at UT. It should be easy and fun to go and say, hey, I know that you're, and this could go for any collegiate woman, but the sororities, I mean, that's easy picking. It's like shooting fish in a pond, I mean, in a barrel, right? They're just there. You talk to them. They're together once a week already. So, the idea of this presentation would be that I would go in and I don't know if it was taught to me as a woman in college or if I picked this up just through life of being a southern woman but I always thought I'd go to college I'd get married I'd have kids and then life would be happily ever after and so and somewhere in there I'd buy a house I'd go to work I'd go on vacation blah 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 but nobody ever said whoa wrong what you need to do is graduate buy a quadplex that brings in $500 a month. So I'm a sorority girl and I will teach them. I will teach them what a quadplex is and why they need to buy it so that when you're going out and you're getting a job, you know you have money coming in, you are basically living for free. That way when you do go off and get married, you can have that baby and still know that you're gonna bring in $2,000 a month so that you can take off for six months or a year and still be contributing. I mean, $2,000, but a lot of us, when you graduate college, you only make two grand a month anyway. So what if two years later, three years later, you're bringing in an extra two grand, now you're bringing in four grand, and all of that just starts to level you up. And women aren't taught that. So it's my mission to get into those sorority houses this year or get into just any women's club on UT's campus and say, hey y'all, don't go buy a two bedroom, one bath in South Knoxville because it's cute. Go buy a quadplex in South Knoxville because you're gonna make a ton of money off of it in the next 10 years. And I think women should respect that. <laughs> so if you have any kind of connections at UT, I'm really looking, I was gonna call Megan. I don't know if she's still in charge of the Panhellenic Council or not, but I'm gonna call her or Facebook or whatever later and say, hey, I got a great topic. Which sorority can I come talk to? But all millennials need that. So maybe I should go to the young professionals of Knoxville and say, hey, how many of you can go get a house for $100,000 right now? You should be buying a triplex or a quadplex. Let me show you where they are in town. Because they're still in Fountain City. They're still in Farragut. They're still in the right school districts that you think you want in the next 10 years. So just go out, buy, go out there and buy those instead of buying a house. Or if you have a house, let me teach you how to turn it into a rental to you know, keep growing so that when you retire at 40 you don't have to go buy 10 houses you've already collected 10 over the last 20 years it's a lot easier to build your portfolio slower than to turn 40 and say oh crap i forgot to buy a bunch of houses you know i mean nobody likes that and i talked to so many people that are like wait a minute i was supposed to retire when i'm 40 and i just got to the management level and so now i don't know what i'm doing in my life <laughs> 
<laughs> I talked to so many people like that. And luckily, my mom taught me as a young person to get into real estate. And if your mom didn't teach you to get into real estate, that's fine. That's what I'm here for. Uh, my mom also owns a dump truck company, though. It's Walker's Truck Contractors. They've been in business since 1939, and she has gravel, will travel. So if you're looking to gravel your driveway or put the uh, pad out for a building or you need gravel around the dock or whatever you're looking for, Call Walker's Truck Contractors, 865-933-0225. This is Whitney Nicely with All Real Estate All the Time. Good song. <laughs> All right, y'all are gonna have to listen in on Saturday if you wanna hear the rest of the show. If you have any questions, go ahead and Facebook message them to me and I'll try to cover those in the rest of the show for you, okay? Bye everybody. <laughs>